Hey guys, how's it going? Hey, today I'm going to be making a uh, Reuben sandwich. And I thought, well, as long as I'm going to make one of these babies, I might as well show my audience a great Reuben. Now, I have just made my own pastrami here, and that's a whole different video. Make sure you check that out. Homemade pastrami, beautiful, ready to go on a sandwich. I just need to build the perfect sandwich. So I've also got some beautiful rye bread and Swiss cheese and Thousand Island dressing some butter and sauerkraut. It's kind of interesting how so many really strong, intense flavors, when they're put together just right, can equal such a fantastic flavor. So that's why I wanted to show you this wonderful sandwich. If you've never made one, this is your chance to do it. They are surprisingly good, ladies and gentlemen. So once you've tried it, I think you'll end up liking it. Come over, let me show you the goodies, and we'll get busy making it right now. Okay, so I've got all of my ingredients here. I have some Swiss cheese. And for this, I like to use about two slices of Swiss. And that's just what I have right here. I have right here this uh, swirled bread. And this is Jewish rye and pumpernickel, and it's a great flavor with all of these other intense flavors. I'm gonna butter it, and we're gonna be toasting the outside in a pan. For the inside of the bread, I'll be using Thousand Island dressing on it, and of course some uh, some sauerkraut here. And uh, of course, I've got one puppy at my feet because she expects to get some of this. So I'll tell you what, let's go ahead and just slice up some of this beautiful pastrami. Trying to make really thin slices here. I had some of this last night after it was finished cooking up. And of course it takes some time to make one of these folks. It takes uh, a full week to make a good pastrami. All right, there we go. Now, it's a matter of getting the bread buttered and building up the sandwich and turning it into something wonderful. So. All right. Yeah, this is the reason I have the paper towel out. <laughs> Very clear, huh? So, a little bit of dressing on this. And this is kind of traditional. Now, if you don't like using Thousand Island, and I get it, many times I have used like a stone ground mustard for this, and it works really well. So that's a great choice if you want to do it that way. Here we go. Cool. Now the neat thing, like I said, this gets toasted in a pan and how you arrange your meats and everything, that's pretty much up to you. But I like just kind of building a good stable base for everything. There we go. I guarantee you, this is some fantastic stuff. There we go. Nice even layer there. Now my sour sauerkraut's already nice and hot. So it's ready to go right on there. And I try not to get too much sauerkraut juice, any liquid you might say, into the sandwich. So I like to pull some up to the top. Just kind of make sure I've 
squeezed it out real good. And that right there is going to be more than enough for an entire sandwich, just one good pinch. And it doesn't take a whole lot of kraut. Now for mine, I love plenty. Some folks don't like it as much, so go light for those folks. But it's interesting how a flavor that a lot of people normally don't like, they will tolerate on this particular sandwich. Alrighty, looking good. There we go again. Now, I need to butter this side. We're gonna get it toasted up. So I'll get a pan on a burner here. And of course, there is no rush at this point. The pan is heating. And I don't want the pan too hot. I want it to toast this kind of slowly so that it gets the heat well up inside of the sandwich, all right? All right. A wonderful way to make a wonderful sandwich. I needed a place to cut my sandwich in a moment. Alrighty, there we go. That's a little bit better for you. Look at that, folks. Isn't that beautiful? All the right things coming together in just the right way. Alrighty, now this has been cooking for a minute, and I think we're probably getting close to turning him over. So, let's see if I can get that done without destroying it. That is looking absolutely spot on perfect. Alrighty, I just checked the bottom of this and it's got a beautiful golden brown also. So it's time for it to come out of here. Put him right down here on my cutting board. I can get a nice cut on that. And we can see the inside of that very beautiful quite delicious sandwich. <laughs> yeah. There it is, ladies and gentlemen. A beautiful homemade Reuben. All right. Well, there it is, folks. An absolutely beautiful and very delicious sandwich. You know, like I said, this harmonious blend of flavors. You toast that bread with a little butter. Mm. The sweetness of the Thousand Island contrasting with the sour of the kraut coated in that cheese that's nice and sharp and then the strong flavor of the pastrami. Banging good, folks. Give this a try, you're gonna love it. And um, I'm going to love it too. Hey, do me a favor. Click the subscribe button. If you haven't subscribed, please click the like button, that thumbs up. That helps me in placements a whole lot more than you can imagine. It helps other people to get a suggestion for this video. So please do that. And drop me a comment down below if you feel like doing it. I'd love to answer those when I get time. 
Thank you very much for watching. Folks, have a good day, okay? Lunch time.